In the last lecture, we got our fifth property. According to fifth property, integral and differential operators are linear operators. This means whenever we have integral and differential operators in our system relationship, the system is going to be linear. To understand this, let's take one example. In this example, output y t is equal to 2 times integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau plus d by dt of x t square. This is our system relationship and by using the above properties we will try to find out the nature of the system whether it is linear or non-linear. If you want you can use the law of additivity and law of homogeneity to prove whether it is linear or non-linear but as we have already invested our time in deriving these five properties we will try to use them. So let's see the first term which is 2 times integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau. Here 2 is the coefficient and in this term the coefficient is 1 in this term the coefficient is 1 and from the second property we know system linearity is independent of coefficient used in system relationship. So because of the coefficients in this system relationship we will get the result which is linear because of coefficients. Now if we see the second term we have d by dt x t square. t square means there is time scaling and if you see the first property you will find system linearity is independent of time scaling. So from here we have linear nature. Now we will use the fifth property according to which integral and differential operators are linear. Here we have integral operator due to which we will get the linear result. Here we have differential operator due to which we get the linear result. So all the different operations performed by the system is giving us the same result which is linear. Therefore the system is linear system. The system is linear system. This is the answer of this example. And now in this presentation we will solve the twelfth problem. And by the help of this problem we will try to find out the nature of even and odd operators. So we will start with even operator. Output y t is equal to even component of signal x t. And we already know the usual notation x t is the input of the system and the system is giving us output y t and this output y t is equal to even component of the input signal x t. We can write it as like this e representing the even component and inside the bracket there is x t. This means even component of the signal x t. So this is the functionality of the system. It is returning as the even component of the input signal. Now we will try to find out the nature of the signal and for this we will first use the formula of even component. The even component of signal x t is equal to x t plus x minus t divided by 2 or we can write 1 by 2 x t plus 1 by 2 x minus t. Now to find out the nature of the system we need to check the law of additivity. If the system is following the law of additivity we need to check law of homogeneity and if system is not following law of additivity or it is not following law of homogeneity the system will be non-linear. We already know how to check the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity but in this particular case I will not check law of additivity and also law of homogeneity because we have already obtained few important properties and by using the properties we have obtained we can easily find out the nature of the system. So let's try to use the properties. If you see the first term you will find we have 1 by 2 x t. So this is the coefficient and if you see the second term we have 1 by 2 x minus t. So this is also the coefficient and it is equal to e x t or it is equal to the output of the system y t and here the coefficient is equal to 1. So the coefficients are 1, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 and we already know 
from the property number two if you see the property number two you will find the system linearity is independent of the coefficient used in the system relationship so because of the three coefficients we have here the system will remain linear now in the first term we have input x t but in second term we have x minus t x minus t means the time reversed form of input signal and the time reversal the time reversal is special case of time scaling we already know this important point time reversal is the special case of time scaling and if you see the first property you will find the system linearity is independent of time scaling so x minus t will also not affect the linearity of the system and the system will remain linear so by using the properties we have proved that the system is a linear system this means even operator this even operator is linear operator now we will do the same thing with the odd operator for this i will take 13th problem output yt is equal to odd component of the input signal xt the odd component of the input signal xt we can write as xt minus x minus t divided by 2 or we can write 1 by 2 xt minus 1 by 2 x minus t now if you compare this with this you will find there is only difference of this minus sign here and we already know the negative sign will not affect the linearity of the system so the system is again linear in nature so you can see the odd operator is also a linear operator so in this lecture we have obtained our sixth property the property is even and odd operators are linear operators like integral and differential operators even and odd operators are also linear so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one